Hey guys, it's Kirk from Worsey Club USA. We want to pick up where we left off yesterday, and in hindsight, this probably should have been the first video, and the one I did yesterday should have been the second video, but that's okay. Um, what we want to show you here is, again, let's go over these physical connectors on the back of the organ, and again, the logical view in OAX and how you work with these physical connections from within OAX. All right, so let's go back to the main um, screen on OAX and uh, notice on upper one here, I picked xylophone, which is a factory sound, just an OA sound in OAX. What I want to show you here is if I double click on this guy, uh, notice we don't have that routing tab that we're going to look at here in a second when we create our own sound. So uh, basically we can't control how OAX is uh, routing the, the MIDI information for this voice on upper one internally inside of OAX. Okay, so keep that in mind as we talk about the SYS option and also if you hard code a MIDI channel, um, why that sometimes gives you some conflicts because certainly this sound is using one of the MIDI channels uh, as we speak. But we can't tell which one it is. That's kind of the frustrating part. All right, so let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to Sound Pool and drag over. Um, if I could click and drag, there we go. Okay, so uh, again, nothing's assigned. Let's double click and notice at this point no routing tab yet. Okay, let's uh, again green box right around this. So we're messing with upper two. Let's click Sounds. User sounds, user, and I'll just click on MIDI out, though it really doesn't matter. Um, uh, if you have not created any of your own sounds, the only thing you're going to see here is these top three, which are from Worsey. EXT1, this first guy, that would be uh, MIDI out one on the back of the organ. EX2 is MIDI out two on the back of the organ. And EXT USB is that small, uh, up in the left-hand side, the MIDI over USB connection. For now, let's just use uh, MIDI out one as we kind of look at this, this example. So let's click that. Let's click enter. And so now it's telling us, you know, this is the default name. Uh, again, output connector number one. And by default, it has assigned it to MIDI channel one. Let's double click that and now that we've assigned this uh, um, MIDI out sound, notice we've got our friend the routing tab back. So let's click edit and here is where you can pick either out one, out two, out USB and again three most likely routes things internally and we have no need to do that if we even can. I haven't tried it honestly but we don't care because we want to connect something external uh, via MIDI. So remember they told us it was going to be on channel one and sure enough look at that they have it on channel one. So uh, that again means when I play something um, from the upper keyboard and I've got upper two activated because that's where I have this voice assigned whatever keys I'm pressing on the upper keyboard would be sent out on MIDI channel one. Again, we can pick all the way up to MIDI channel 16 if we need to or want to. And also remember, if you go to the SYS uh, function, that again is system assigned as an OAX. And the 3 tells us that that is going to be on MIDI channel 3. Okay. Now... Again, depending on what you're connecting to, that would tell you that as long as that device was accepting information on MIDI channel 3, this would work. If you didn't have MIDI channel 3 configured on your device, you wouldn't hear anything. Now, another thing to think about is if you use the SYS function, this number, channel 3, might be channel 2, might be channel 5, might be channel 8. It would depend 
on how many other sounds you have active in OAX because each one of those sounds is going to consume a MIDI channel. Um, so that's where some folks may get frustrated or think things are not working because just because uh, this time it's on MIDI channel 3 does not mean the next time it's going to be on MIDI channel 3. So as in the first video I said, man, you know, there's goods and bads to the way Worsi has this implemented depending on what you want to do. And, and I'll try and show you a case where we're going to use a combination of system assigned channels on the upper keyboard and on the lower keyboard we're actually going to go out MIDI out 2 and we're going to dedicate it to a specific MIDI channel because of the device we're connecting to and how that device works. So again we're going to for now we're going to ignore all these other things on the screen lots of other things you can do at this point it's as simple as we want to create our own sound and we did so let's uncheck this and do I want to save it? I'm going to say yes. And notice now I get to name it and, and um, it's going to be saved as a user sound. So let's, let's go ahead and hit rename. And let's say new and let's just call this um, um, video, oops, video demo sound. How about that? For, for lack of a better name. And let's hit enter and let's save it and now if I come back out notice that the name has been changed to what we uh, called it ourselves so let's show you one other thing here let's bring in sound pool and bring in another thing another voice uh, let's go to sounds uh, let's go to user sounds expansion uh, I'm sorry user MIDI out and let's scroll down here and see if we can't find uh, there it is the one we just created video demo sound okay so let's pick that now remember here on upper two this sound was on MIDI channel 3 dynamically assigned by OAX let's click on this sound now let me click routing so you can see it and notice that now because we have it as a system voice that same sound is now on MIDI channel 4 so that was my point I'm trying to make sure you guys understand that here we have the same sound here it's on MIDI channel 3 here it's on MIDI channel 4 even though it's the exact same sound because we're using system assigned voices okay beat that to death let me end this video here and say uh, hopefully now at this point between the first video and the second one Everyone hopefully is on the same page with how you can create a user sound, how you uh, map that to the physical cable on the back of the organ. And then as we look at some different ways of connecting either uh, a DAW or a sound module, how we might change what MIDI channels we use or if we use system assigned MIDI channels. As always, thanks for watching.